with you again. This is DC lesson number seven, parallel circuits. Yeah, a little practical demonstration. Another way, or a third way, in actual fact, of engaging with our electrical physics around parallel circuits. We kind of did the theory, then we did the math modeling, and now it's time for a little practical demonstration. So uh, parallel circuits, we're gonna look at resistance, currents, and voltage. So what are our objectives? We're gonna demonstrate that resistance decreases as more resistance is added in a parallel circuit. We're all going to demonstrate that the current in a parallel circuit is the sum of all the branch currents. And we're gonna demonstrate that voltages around a parallel circuit are the same as the applied voltage. So again, did a quick little risk assessment. Uh, again, not too complicated for me. Gonna keep our voltages low. Um, our output powers are going to be uh, kept low as well, and leads and things off the floors. So here's our basic circuit as a circuit diagram and as a connection diagram. Uh, this particular time I've decided to uh, use just a fixed three volt supply. So this time just uh, two batteries here, giving us our three volts and we're going to use a lamp a 10 ohm resistor and a 4.7 ohm resistor so you can see here my lamp my resistors in here and one side of my lamps here your a lamp and resistors are all connected to the negative so that's what you can see here with the black wires I've got everything connected back to the negative side of the battery. On the positive side over here, it probably looks a little more complicated because what I've done is I've taken the plus and I've taken it to three terminals that are all common together to kind of give me a big plus bar here. And then I've connected my lamp I've connected my resistor and I've connected my second resistor. This is going to allow me to quickly and easily interpose the um, ammeter into the circuit here as I need to. So again, just nice clear description of where everything is. Three volt supply, our lamp, our 4K7, sorry, our 4.7R and our 10R resistor. All connected in parallel across three volts. So let's do parallel resistance first. And uh, basically what I've done here is I've just taken three pictures. First measured the lamp resistance then the next thing I've done is I've added the lamp and R2 in parallel. So this is just the lamp by itself at about 1.1 ohms. You can see here. Then I've added the lamp and the resistor. So that's the lamp and the 4.7 in parallel. And you can see the resistance has dropped. We've gone down from 1.1 to 1 ohm. And then finally up here. I've simply added R1 and our resistance has dropped again as we've now dropped down to 0.9 of an ohm as we've connected that up. So basically step one, step two and step three. And I've also calculated it at 1.1 paralleled with 4.7 gives us 0.89, so just a little bit less. And then paralleled with 10 ohms gives me 0.82. Slight difference between the two here, but that can be accounted for just simply in the accuracy of the, uh, the multimeter taking the measurements. So very, very close. Very close, so close enough to demonstrate very clearly as the um, 
number of resistors in parallel goes up. So as parallel resistors go up, the actual resistance in ohms goes down. Next is to demonstrate um, voltage around a parallel circuit. And again, I simply got four pitches. So number one is the power supply. Number two is the lamp. Number three is R2 and number four. And all we're doing here is noting the voltages at the uh, supply voltages running at about 2.54. The lamps running at 2.48. 2.41 for the resistor 2 and 2.43 and again just allowing for inaccuracies in the meter they're all very very close to 2.5 so again supply equals voltage across the lamp equals voltage across the resistor equals voltage across R2 so all our voltages pretty well read almost exactly the same thing. Just allowing a little bit of nuance for the digital multimeter. So this tells us that uh, voltages across parallel circuits are the same as the applied voltage. So we now move on to doing the current. So this is the parallel current. So we're now, I'm going to just measure the currents one at a time. So here we're measuring the current in the lamp, L1. So the lamp's pulling 253 milliamps. So you can see that here on the screen. And that's our measured value, 253. And I've calculated it out with our internal resistance of the lamp hot at about 10 ohms giving us 250 milliamps. So the calculation and the reality very, very close together. So our total current, 253 milliamps can be calculated and measured, comes out the same. Calculating now the current in R2. So R2 is our 4.7. And you can see here on the screen where measuring 360 milliamps and I calculated it at about 510 again allowing for nuances in the circuit that is reasonably close to what we should have got which was 2.4 divided by our 4.7 so there are two things that could uh, indicate while the numbers are not exactly the same they're close but not exactly the same is this resistor is plus and minus 10%. So it could be 10% uh, less than uh, 4.7, which would uh, bring us much closer to 361, which was what was being measured. And the voltage also may have dropped a little bit because I've been running my batteries for a bit of time with my lamp glowing away there happily. Uh, parallel R1 now, it's drawing 199 milliamps. You can see that on the uh, multimeter. And again, I calculated that out at uh, 2.4 volts divided by the 10 ohms, giving us 240 milliamps. That's very close. So we've got 199 milliamps measured and uh, it's very close to 200 and it's only 40 milliamps over. So again, allowing for the inaccuracies in our meter and the percentage values on our resistors, again, very, very close. That, that, that is also the current. Then finally, our total current, you remember it was uh, 597 milliamps was our I total. And if we add up our 253, our 240, and our 199, we come to about a little over 600 milliamps. And our reading is just a fraction under 600, 
So again, <coughs> allowing for a few inaccuracies in meters and things, very, very close. So definitely demonstrates that uh, the addition of the sum of all the current branches equals the applied current from the supply. So what are our observations? Well, we've demonstrated that resistance does increase as more resistance is added in our parallel circuit. The current in a parallel circuit is the sum of the branch currents. We've demonstrated that. That is, Kirchhoff's current law has been proved that the sum of the currents into a node do equal the sum of the currents out of the node. And finally, the voltages around a parallel circuit are the same as the total applied voltage. So in a parallel circuit, all the voltages are the same throughout the circuit. So this brings us to the end of DC Skills Lesson number seven, I hope you've enjoyed the applied demo 